Hello and welcome to Comp. Hello. Hello, Lucy. Hi. How are you? Pretty good. How are you? Oh, I'm doing great. How was your uh, Thanksgiving? It was nice. How? It was very nice. Yeah. You, you enjoyed it? it? Yeah. You enjoyed me spending time with your family? I did. And yeah, and, and they, uh, they all loved you. You were a big hit. Apparently. <laughs> Apparently, the, I mean, not, ma- not many of them seem to be familiar with the, the podcast. Some of them are. But I, I tried to bring up gun hands during grace. They're, like they're I, not all supporting the podcast as much as they could be. That's true. I, I just made a reference to gun hand. Well, you know, <laughs> like they, they asked him, you know, like, they had, would you like to say grace? And it was like, I, I said something like, uh, and, you know, just give thanks for, you know, for fa- friends and family for, for hands of hands full of hands made of guns. Mm. And uh, I got some real stink eyes. <laughs> some real, what are you talking about? Um you fat turd mm. that's that's the look i got from certain people at the table yeah you uh you should not be marrying into this family <laughs> we want you we want you to be dead well well if it if it's any comfort to you i, I have a big extended family yeah if and if there's a, any of them who right. are in cu- caught up on the entire catalog of comp episodes i'm right. willing to cut out permanently i think we need to i yeah. can't i can't have that kind of like Lack of commitment with mm. my, you know, even though my family isn't, you know, I don't know if they listen. Yeah. Um, but if I'm marrying into a family, they better listen. Yeah. Uh, cause I, I'm going to be heard one way or another. <laughs> Whether it's by shooting myself in the leg, mm. by setting myself on fire and then screaming, uh, saying things like, why did they do this? I don't want to die. They'll hear that. Mm-mm. So if they don't hear gun hand, <laughs> they have that option. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was nice. And we went to a nice wedding. We did, and and uh, you you were uh, congratulations were to the couple. We don't, yeah, we don't name them, but you know, for, for their own for their own benefit. Mm. But congratulations. Um, it was a great wedding. Yeah, and you were people, and you were you were a great dancer. People you were a great said, dance partner. People were surprised. I knew how to cut a rug on the dance floor. <laughs> Do you apologize to your aunt for me though? Is she, is she doing okay? She, she, I think she's. I think she's fine now. I mean, yeah. I, I was giving you some spins on the dance floor, and I was kind of coaxing you. You, you are the one critique I have of your dance style, but yeah. but I understand why you do it because from far away it looks more impressive. Yeah, you're a rough spinner. Like, well, you, you, you feel like I, sp- I span you rough. You you clutch the body and then grab the arm and <laughs> and then spin. In a very rough. Well, I manner. did. I do that because I, you know, so because you, I, I, you're not used to it, and so I didn't want you going going flying, and you were in heels. So I just make sure I was make I was being gentle, actually. <laughs> Usually, well, the thing is that kind of that creates momentum where the spin looks beautiful, right? But the first part of the move looks like an act of abuse. <laughs> well, sure, but I was still I was guiding you around because yeah. you know and I could tell you wanted me to do it. Yeah. Um. No, it was fun. Yeah, and then your aunt, you know, jumps in. She wants to start dancing. And I'm fine with it. We're doing some disco dancing. And uh, I gave her, and I was very slow with it. Mm. And I gave her like a very gradual spin just because she's already seen me doing this. I don't want to short change her. And uh, halfway through, she took a little spill. <laughs> she, she went tumbling to the floor. And I was like, oh, God, this is a problem. This is this is not how I make money. This, this is not my debutante ball moment. Yeah. This is not how I get introduced to the bloodline. Yeah, well she's a tiny you know, I'm I'm pretty woman. tiny height wise. Sure. She's she's smaller. She's, she's thin. Generally. Yeah, she's she's a yeah. thin woman, older woman. Yeah. She you know, watches her calories, I guess. Yeah. yeah she's she's on time. Impre- impressive. Yeah. You know. Usually when people get older, they have a tendency to but no, she was very trim. And uh I don't know if I was part of it. She said she was wearing she she was she, she, she said she wasn't mad, but you know, I wouldn't be surprised if she tries to shut this wedding down. <laughs> Um, did she break anything? I, I don't think she broke anything. She was walking around afterwards, so. All right, so that, that's good for us. Well, you, we'll use that in court. <laughs> Does he, uh, like, well, she was walking around. I saw her go get cake at one point. Uh, you're telling me that, you know, she, she fractured some, her tibia? I, I call foul. I think she, you know, she's trying to just get, get some of this podcast, uh, you know. <laughs> this is very, I think she's trying to sue her way into a very small podcast. <laughs> uh, but no, I, I, it was fun, and uh, I'll try not to maim anyone else in your family. Thank you, but I they, appreciate that. But it, it would it, 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 that would be helped by them, you know, demonstrating knowledge of the podcast. <laughs> I wouldn't feel. I'm not saying I feel like I need to get yeah. revenge, but like I definitely wouldn't if that was the case. 
I don't know. If they were patrons, we would, but there would be extra motivation to protect them. Sure. Like, it's not, it's not so much that I'm like trying to, you know, and this is not me blackmailing anyone, but like, I'm not trying to hurt anyone. But it's like, if you, if you guys were generous patrons of the podcast, I would definitely make a point not to. Mm. So you call that what it will, you will. Um, and, you know, and, and if a judge asked me, I didn't say anything. <laughs> um, so welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. It's, uh, it's a lovely Thanksgiving. Uh, we hope you had a lovely um, time. Did we, did, what were we discussing before the week before? The, the, the side dishes? Right. We hope you, we hope you had some, what do we suggest people do? Fill a, fill a bowl full of uh, Red Bull? Some, some kind of pate, right? Fill a bowl full, full of Red Bull and then dip bread into it? <laughs> like, it like it's olive oil? That's not a bad idea. That's something I can get behind. That's a, that, that's a Christmas tradition. Yeah, that's true. Flavored olive oil, infused olive oils are actually a pretty uh, popular artisan product. Red Bull and olive oil. That mm-hmm. could be nice. Now, is it, now, when you mix olive oil and Red Bull, does, like, does, it, does it mix or is it just kind of create like a, it's like a jar of organic peanut butter. It's all like all the oils on top. <laughs> we got to do an experiment. We have to make a video. Um myth busting something that no one's ever thought of <laughs> which is you know what happens if i you know well and it's um i'm very excited for it hell yeah what else happened this week <laughs> besides thanksgiving Did anything else happen this week besides, besides thanksgiving <sighs> I, I didn't hear much news no um well there was one story that kind of broke through oh what was that the the general quiet of the holiday weekend sure was that turkey getting pardoned? <laughs> well, actually, I, well, it's interesting you say that because this year two turkeys got pardoned. Really? Were they, is it because of, the, of a gender thing? They didn't want to, <laughs> I, don't know how, I don't know what gender thing, but is, is that something to do with gender? They didn't want to be seen as favoring one gender of turkey. Yeah, they couldn't, they couldn't find a non-binary turkey. So they do had to both go. genders of turkeys get eaten anyway? Can, I don't. Can you eat the male turkeys? I don't know. I mean, what, what's a female, tur- is it a hen turkey? I always assume that we just ate the women. Are there turkey <laughs> eggs? How come we don't have turkey eggs? They do lay eggs, right? You know what? I, That's a great question. I'm I don't starting know. to think turkeys aren't real. Because <laughs> I've never heard of a female turkey. I've never seen a turkey egg. I've never, uh, I've never uh, witnessed any evidence of a turkey soul um, for what that's worth. A turkey hen lays one clutch of eggs per year. One clutch? What does that mean? <laughs> I, I, they, I guess that's what they call like a batch of eggs. I don't like this. I think we're eating a fake thing. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm going to throw up. I, so anyway, um, well, two no, turkeys got pardoned. So nothing else happened in the news. So like, what are we going to talk about? <laughs> no, of course, there was one big story. Oh, yeah? Um, which was, it was, a, it was a meeting of the minds. Of the mind, was it like Noam Chomsky and the and, and Will Sasso? Close. Mm. <laughs> um, Donald Trump. You can see these names on a giant marquee, right? Donald Trump. <laughs> Kanye West. Ooh, he's dicey. <laughs> Two very very controversial figures. Do they have a, another person to kind of make it to moderate the the mix a little and bit? And introducing Nick Fuentes. <laughs> oh, now. I don't know much about him, but I've heard he's, I've heard people call him a Nazi. <laughs> is that, is that at all accurate? Um, I would say it's pretty accurate. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh I mean, people might think I'm biased. Sure. But, but you, you, you know, he has, he does seem to have put a lot of verbal energy into denying the Holocaust. So I don't think it's like, uh, oh, is that a big thing of him? Yeah. Well, that's not, that's not, that doesn't, that certainly doesn't make you not a Nazi. <laughs> That's not if you know if you were trying to rule out if he's a Nazi, you would you wouldn't you wouldn't be like oh you're free to go. Yeah, look, um, maybe you think that the Anti Defamation League is biased, but you definitely can't work for them if wait, you've denied the Holocaust more than once. I mean, I, I don't know. I I feel like the Anti Defamation League might have an open mind about you know the whole Holocaust situation, <laughs> wouldn't they? Why why wouldn't they be objective about it? Uh, so this guy's whatever he, he but he's got wait, where is he on he is he on like a uh, serious satellite radio where do people find this guy Nick Fuentes well depending on when you go apparently you can find him Disneyland on, you, <laughs> or, just, or it's world down there in Florida right yeah well I wouldn't say that well 
he's from Florida, right? So he probably has gone to Disneyland. I'm sure he's gone to well, Disney or, World. Or Disney World. I'm sure he's gone. I, mean, I, wasn't, <laughs> I meant more like, is he a, a someone who is employed at Disney World playing with Goofy? I just Wait, don't know. I don't, I don't know where people. I, I I believe he's been like deplatformed, right? Or no? Is he still around? I can't keep track of who's on platforms and yeah, not. I'm not I mean, sure how deplatformed he is. Okay, but he's he is he on is he in like one of the, is he on Rumble or, or Trash Bag or, or one of these sites? <laughs> Gargle. He's the one person left on Parlor. <laughs> um, par- yeah. We well, start something called Gargle. Gargle. <laughs> that, I mean, it kind of sounds like it sounds like something like my voice. And uh, people might confuse it with like, you know, I guess it's not right though. I was gonna say we're gonna trick racists into buying content, content that isn't racist. But I guess people will say, you're taking racist money. <laughs> well, like, well, so is McDonald's. Yeah. I'm sure. Also, well, how do you keep the racists once you get them is the problem. That, because they like the gun hand bits. <laughs> you know, they like everything else. They think Red Bull and, 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 and olive oil sounds funny. Yeah. They, I don't think, I, I don't think racist, that racism has to be their everything, mm-hmm. you know. Like they can also be into like woodworking, or um, it doesn't make them, it doesn't, it doesn't absolve them. But like, well, they might be into like you know playing Kirby video games. You know, Kirby the pink thing that like right. sucks things up and, and gets bigger. And I don't know. They might want to watch us play Unraveled too. Right on, tw- on Twitch at Twitch at Twitch TV slash Ray Comp. We, we were gonna play Unravel too, which is apparently about two pieces of yarn. <laughs> I don't know, doing stuff. <laughs> like, I, so you, if you haven't looked at our Twitch channel, we're going to be playing a game about yarn soon. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I mean, like, uh, whatever. I mean, does Kmart say, like, you better not be racist when you buy this fucking, you know, bike beater shirt? No, of course no. not. So like, well, I care if, if some, <laughs> if some, if some lunatic, you know, fringe, uh, you know, s- separatist, Wants to, you know, thinks that trash, that that gargle is, is some kind of, you know, hate thing. And then he ends up listening to us talk about, you know, uh, hors d'oeuvres and hurting, <laughs> and hurting your aunt. That's business, baby. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Money over everything. Um, but anyway, so he's he's somewhere. Yeah. So Nick, so, all right. So you have, you have, they, they got together this week. You know, what, what did they do? They went to the White House where well, he's not the president anymore. So where did they go? Uh, they went to Mar-a-Lago. Second best thing. Mm. Um, is Mar-a-Lago officially, they call it the Southern White House, right? <laughs> I mean, he did, right? Then they, there was someone called it that, right? Or something like that? They do. <laughs> well, wait, who's, yeah, who called it that? People would say, like, it, it gets to, like, when Trump. Is there going to be, wait, is there really going to be another civil war? <laughs> no, I just mean, like, when is he was. Is Mar-a-Lago the seat of the new Confederacy? When he was the president. Yeah. Oh, okay. You know, didn't they call it, like, White House South or something? <laughs> Oh, I guess yeah. Maybe they did. It's not even maybe crazy. I missed that. He spent a lot of time there. It's just like and like I think he spent more time than Bush spent at his ranch. But it was the same idea. And Obama had uh, what did Obama have? Some kind of palace in the sky. Yeah. Some you know, some some elitist Harvard palace <laughs> where, he, where he oversaw um, abortions. <laughs> um, whatever. I mean, everyone's got to get, get have a getaway. Um, so they For went real. to Mar-a-Lago. Oh, and also Milo Yiannopoulos was there. Interesting. So Milo Yiannopoulos, the um, the man who was famous for being a conservative gay man, was that his gimmick? What was his gimmick? More or less. I mean, uh, yeah, uh, uh, anti-feminist, generally conservative. Kind of pickup artist, right? Was yeah. he was he a pickup artist, Milo? See, so you think this is a weird thing about these things. A lot of these guys, a lot of these guys started out as kind of pickup artists. Kind of I, guys, I don't right? think Milo was ever a pickup artist. Well, it'd be kind of funny if he was like it would actually be great, though. giving like, like straight men advice about how to pick up women, and he was and he was actually working. Honestly, maybe it's how he got big because it worked. The advice was good. That was the move. Yeah. No, no, that was the move for a comeback, and Milo just blew it. Like if if he had left because he left public life. Well, after Joe Rogan, uh, after Joe, Joe, Joe Rogan pretty and, much accidentally exposed him. Well, he said, he said, "I know a bunch of pedophiles. I think, Where are they?" He's like, "I don't know. I don't want to tell you." He's like, no, "We have to tell people." That is, I think that's one of my favorite Joe Rogan moments. Yeah. To me, that really distills the simple genius of Joe Rogan. I should have like, told Joe that just, instead, instead of being like, oh, "Hello, I'm, out, I'm, out, I'm, out, I'm I'm here with Tim," and then spitting on him by mistake. I should have said that Milo thing was great, dude. That would have been so much better than just mumbling <laughs> and and just being all red and, and getting COVID somehow. Just, uh, oh, where were they? I can't say. You got to say. <laughs> There's pedophile parties. You got to say where they are, bro. 
And that's just that, that was just basically his whole career, right? Just yeah. down the tubes. Because he wanted to, he wanted to talk bigger. He he was bragging about being. A, I don't know if he, for all I know, he didn't even know this was all fake, right? And he's just like he's just lying, trying to like you know. I go to plenty of pedophile parties. I'm a big shot. Where I don't, I can't say. Yeah, I always thought it sounded like a lie. Yeah, like, that's a, like but I he lied. He went too far with the lie. I'm sh- look. We all know. We, I mean, you say we think, but like we all basically know this happens almost for oh, sure. Oh yeah. But like, I, I don't know. If they invite Milo. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um. So um, yeah. So you have you you have at the white. You, if you, you want to come to our pedophile parties? You got to vote blue. <laughs> <laughs> so at the Southern White House, uh, you have. Trump, uh, you have Nick Fuentes, you have Kanye West, and Milo Yiannopoulos. Wait, can I finish that thought, though? Sure. That was the move, because he left public life, and then he did this whole I'm straight now thing. Oh, he did pretend to be Oh, without worry, he said he's straight. I don't know if he's pretending. The move was to become a new straight pickup artist. That would be great. Now, so he... I used to be gay, and now I'm a pickup artist. Hey, I had sex with thousands of men. And I'm, so I know men inside and out, and I know how they work. So I, I know how to give you advice <laughs> about how to get women. Because I know exactly what you want. Because I, 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 I had sex with many men. So I just know everything about men. <laughs> uh, what, 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 what do you think Milo's advice would be? Like, like a, one or two pieces of advice he might give? Pretend to be gay? <laughs> Women love it when you pretend. pretend pre- you, women love it when you pretend to be gay and then you actually are just gay. <laughs> right. I mean, did he did he reverse that or is he still? Because I look, I don't care. It, look, if that's his journey, that look, this is a guy who had a lot of ra- racist things, right? Mm. Or ra- you know, people argue he's a racist and argue he's a anti woman or whatever. A lot of things like that, right? Yeah. But uh, so I don't feel like the fact that if if part of his journey is like, hey, I think I'm gay, but then I'm straight and I'm gay again, or whatever. I don't care. Yeah, <laughs> that's not that's not why we're mad. Right. That's not why it's an issue of, of him being you know as as a as a Southern White House. No, look, you call it. I'm not trying to make anyone be gay. <laughs> right. But, but it sounds like you want him to stay gay. I. It's more like I just think. Look, if I'm being like cynical about it. Yeah. He missed an opportunity here. To. To, be, to, to marry a woman? To be the formerly gay pickup artist. He's the least relevant person at this dinner table. Well, that, yeah, that's uh, not, I mean, this is, that's why it makes some sense that he's there. If all the people there, it's like, all right, I get, I get it. You're getting, you, I haven't heard about you in like years. Yeah. Um, okay, so what, so tell me more about this. So there was a dinner? There was a dinner. They had, they had, they had a nice, did he get, did he get McDonald's like he did for those <laughs> athletes? Remember? When like the, who, who was it? Was it like the, the college athletes tribunal? Or whatever, there's a bunch of kids, and he had, like, a bunch of McDonald's for him. You remember uh, that? Oh, oh, yeah. No, I, I do remember he that, He had, like, yeah. 1,600 Big Macs. He was like, <laughs> and they were all, like, and they were, they were like, this is great. And, like, honestly, maybe they, maybe, you know. Oh, they should have they should have just done a mukbang at Mar-a-Lago. That would be nice. So is that what they, they eat McDonald's, you think? I mean, he, he famously eats a lot of fast food. Do you think he, like, bought, like, you, you think he got a nice steak for Kanye? Or you just gave him a fucking, you think you just gave him a hush puppy from Long John Silver's or whatever? Or Arthur, good, Arthur Treacher's. That's a good question. We might, I don't know if we have time for it right now, but but we should. Nice have, Baconator from Wendy's. <laughs> that was premium. That was a premium sandwich, right? We should at some point look up the menu at Mar-a-Lago. I'd love to. I mean, I've eaten at the Trump course in uh, in California, and it was just it was a very you know very mediocre food. Yeah, it wasn't very good. What did they have? Oh, we had a turkey club or whatever. But it was just it was like it was it, it, it was just kind of like nothing. Yeah. It was not like, you know, you go to a nice restaurant, you know, you go, well, it was a turkey club. How bad could it be? It was like, it was very uninspired. I mean, I, it's hard to explain what a good turkey club would be like, but it's, there's always these little things. Oh, mm-hmm. this bread's really good. Or this like, this like the bacon's just really crisp and like nice quality and like, you know, something, whatever. The turkey's just, is not too dry. It, the like, lettuce is crisp. Stuff like that. Yeah. Stuff that you go like, I wouldn't normally think a turkey club was that good, but this is great. And that's not the case here. It was very much like, ugh. Mm. I mean, whatever. So I'm not saying he'd be wrong to serve McDonald's. Yeah, for sure. Anyway, no, I would love to know what they ate. I, I want. Can we go through their garbage? I would love. I would love for Donald Trump to just start a mukbang channel. I would watch Donald Trump eat everything. I would eat. I would watch him eat literally anything. I mean, well, right, first episode. We we, we come to, right, envision a world. We're gonna get back to this whole you know controversial like end of the world dinner or whatever it is. Uh, but like, let's just. This is a better idea for now. We 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 warm our way in, uh, maybe through Kanye, 
Mm. And, you know, somehow uh, we befriend Kanye West and we get to Trump and we, and we become his advisors. And what's the, what do we pitch as the pilot episode for the, for the Donald Trump mukbang channel? What, what does he, it's gotta be a lot of things. It can't just be like a plate of something. He's gotta eat like a hundred of something. What do you want to watch him eat? I mean, ribs would be kind of messy. That might be fun. Yeah. Um, 20 jars of peanut butter. I just had that thought right now. I feel like that could be like, because that, that, that would be getting kind of sickening. I mean, we all love peanut butter, but you start, you start feeling sick when you eat too much, you know, when you overindulge. Imagine 20 jars of it. What's the, what's the place that makes the fish sticks? That hungry man? Is it Hungry Man? The place that makes the fish sticks. No, no, the, like the frozen fish sticks, like the famous well, frozen the, dinner fish sticks. You mean like um, Gordon's Fisherman? The Gordon, the, trust the Gordon's Fisherman. One one thousand Gordon's fishermen fish sticks. A thousand fish sticks. Yeah. Interesting. Are, are you saying it because of the whole South Park Kanye West thing? No, I just think fish sticks are fun. Do you remember that though? I got to acknowledge that because <laughs> it's now it's in my head now. Yeah. With the whole fish dicks and thing, it was a whole. Yeah. It was a whole thing. You, 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 you wouldn't be yeah. doing this to rub into Kanye's face because he got mad about that. I think. He got <laughs> or, they, or they did that episode because he got mad about something else. That's true. You always have to take into account, even if it's not intentional, you have to take into account his sensitivity. Oh, yeah. He, he, he might make the connection. He'll go DEFCON 3 on you. Yeah. Because <laughs> you got to be careful. Because uh, you don't want him, you know, that, that's, a, that's a dangerous place to be uh, uh, on, the, on the other side of Kanye's DEFCON 3. Mm. True. I mean, I'm not mocking the situation. I mean, you shouldn't say that. But, like, I, but I also don't know what it means exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to make light of it, but I, just don't, I don't know what it actually means. But whatever, that's 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 besides the point. <laughs> but I'm sure you don't it's want a, it. Whatever a, it is, it's anti-Semitic to go death con tr- three on the Jews. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I would say yes. I don't know no, what it exactly is, it is, but I don't know why that full thought is so funny to me. It's because it's a ridiculous statement. I mean, it, like yeah. you could argue. I mean, if it was someone else, you might argue. Well, they said that specifically because, like, what does that mean? Right. But like, I don't know if he said that or if he like really thinks if he thinks that people have a vision of what death con three looks like. Because Death Hunt 3 is just more like, oh, Russia's, Russia's moving their troops over this way. We should really, really get ready to, you know, respond. Right. And uh, I'm sure other things happen. Planes fly and whatever, you know. But Kanye doesn't have a plane. I mean, he might have a plane, but not like a war plane, right? Right. Does Kanye have a war plane that he readies? <laughs> like when he said, I'm on Death Hunt 3, does he mean like I'm gassing up my, 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 my Learjet or whatever he has? Or is <laughs> Yeah. I, yeah, that's like the, the that that's the thing that gets skipped over. Yeah, when everybody's just calling him anti-Semitic, it's like, well, what does he specifically mean? It's never good. There's, I mean, to be fair, there's nothing good that Dev Country means. Yeah, it can't, you can't argue like why him. It's like, well, that sounds menacing, right? Um, but whatever. So we don't. We, whatever it is, we don't want him doing that to us. No. So we gotta be careful about you know what we maybe the fish sticks are a little a little because it's a South Park thing and we're a little aggressive. I mean, maybe Death Con Three just means I'm gonna I'm gonna lose all my money. <laughs> <That'd be laughs> like, I'm gonna say some stuff that makes me lose all my money. That's never been how it's used before in history, but right. it's possible. Yeah. <laughs> Did he think that like Death Con Three just meant like we gave Russia a bunch of money? Please don't <laughs> nuke us. <laughs> I don't know. Why don't you just unplug the goddamn thing? That's some war games. To my knowledge of Death Con comes from war games, the movie. Mm. Um, go on. Oh. What, so, I'm no, sorry I didn't internalize war games as much as you did. Well, I watched child. it a bunch of times as a kid. You don't remember the gag where the dad's putting a lot of butter on the bread? And then, he, and then you think, <laughs> oh, this disgusting man's going to eat all that butter. But then he used it to put on the corn. To be honest, I don't remember. I remember very little about that movie. It was great. We watched it. And I remember enjoying it, but I can't remember anything about it. Other yeah. than Matthew Broderick has a computer. This, that... m- this might not work. <laughs> <laughs> Um, go on with this, you know. So fish sticks, I guess. We'll we'll just take Kanye's wrath. Mm. So go on. What's what's up with this this, this uh, dinner? All right. So uh, a bunch of Republicans are angry about it. A bunch of Republicans are angry. So wait, they have a dinner. Does anyone know what they talked about? Well, some people were saying that they were maybe discussing a, a presidential campaign for Kanye. I've heard like, that Kanye is going to run and that, and that, and that uh, Milo and Nick Fuentes are going to be his campaign managers. Yeah. Now, I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Like, cynically. I mean, Milo, uh, I mean, this guy 
torpedo his career or his career by trying to brag about knowing pedophiles. Yeah. I don't know if he's the best guy to run your campaign. Right. Like you, Kanye, best case, needs someone to rein him in, maybe. To like, to, to, you know, smooth the edges a little bit. Mm. I don't know if Milo's that guy. And I don't know much about Nick Fuentes. Is he, is he like a moderate Republican? No, right? <laughs> no. Okay. No, he's not a moderate. I, they could win, though. I don't think they will, but they could. I mean, people said, people said Trump couldn't win. At this point, you never want to count anyone out. You don't. <laughs> uh, I mean, who would... I mean, is, 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 this, is, this, is this even the craziest thing you could think of? What if we ran, like, Carrot Top? Carrot Top, I think he would just... He would just lose because he's too ugly. You care about, he's got a beautiful body. He does have a beautiful he's body. He's very muscular. He's also a, a wildly successful comedian. I don't like the fact that you just, you know. People would be disturbed by him. They're prejudiced. I mean, people are kind of prejudiced against gingers already. And Oh, so you're just going straight. You're using the G Look, word. I'm just, I'm just being realistic. Saying the G word. I'm just, <laughs> I don't think you're allowed to say that anymore. This is what I would say to as, a, as his advisor. As Carrot Top's advisor? <laughs> 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 Hey, I'm going to hire you as an advisor. What, what's your first piece of advice? Uh, quit the race because you're ugly as sin and, you, and you're a gin, disgusting ginger. And he's like, what? what? You didn't get your first paycheck. That's not how you work. That's not how jobs work. <laughs> I mean, that's just, that's just bad. I mean, I assume you're making a decent salary as an advisor. Yeah. And you just, and you, you just did a, a Milo in your own career. <laughs> That seems that seems foolish. I think some people would like my direct uh, communication style. Even if he did, even if he's like, "Thank you so much," and uh, I guess I won't need you anymore. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, you just called this guy ugly. Now you care about saving him money. <laughs> Milk this guy, Jesus. So, uh, so carrot tops, no go. So I guess we're stuck with Kanye. Hence the candidate. Yeah. Okay. So. What are they, pe people are, so this all, this all went without a hitch and Trump was very, uh, got to brag about it? <laughs> uh, a lot of Republicans are mad at him. Uh -huh. um, uh, Mitch McConnell said, there is no room in the Republican Party for anti-Semitism or white supremacy. Uh, and anyone meeting with- I mean, people, I would say that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if Mitch McConnell has- <laughs> Okay, but it's good, good that you said that. It would be a little. It would be more honest if you said there's a little bit of room. Right. Look, we all know there's a little bit of room, and we try <laughs> to keep we try to keep it down to a minimum. But like, I'm not making promises here. You're asking for too much room. Right. Yeah. This is this is uh. Who else has got a problem with it? Um, uh, House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy took issue. He's going to be the majority leader, right? Or is he? I don't even know. Um. Maybe. Who knows? I don't who know. Cares? Um, denounced it. What's uh, the, I don't think anybody should be spending any time with Nick Fuentes. He has no place. Who is labeled as a white supremacist pundit and organized an organizer by the ADL. That's not good. I mean, yeah. Unless they're lying, which I don't think they are. McCarthy said, I think President Trump came out four times and condemned him and didn't know who he was. So he's kind of trying to, I guess, maybe hold a little bit of water for Trump. Like, Saying he might not know who this oh, guy is. Oh, is Trump claiming he didn't know? He, he claimed he didn't. Who, who did he claim he didn't know was there? He, he knew Kanye would be there. Trump is trying to distance himself from the whole thing. But, he, but um, specifically Fuentes, right? Fuentes specifically. Is Fuentes yeah. that much worse than Kanye? I guess I guess this Fuentes guy is an active Holocaust denier. I, I think Kanye still has a little bit of pub, public sympathy, maybe. Sure. Is the difference. Like, cause people, Some people, yeah. Because he's mentally not well. It would seem uh, so. It would seem it would he's not seem, doing great. Yeah. I mean, you know, you, again, I got to repeat this many times. How well would you be doing if Pete, if Pete Davidson was rubbing your kid's head? <laughs> not, you wouldn't be doing great, would you? <laughs> I mean, like, uh, who, who is Emily Radzikowski? Uh, who, who was she dating before this? Because now Pete Davidson's dating that girl from the Blurred Lines video. Right. I mean, who, you know, is, is, that, is that Alan Thicke guy or, or his son, Robin Thicke? Is he in the, somewhere in the fetal position? Yeah, I don't know who her, her, who her last guy was. I can't imagine she's doing that well, dating Pete Davidson. I mean, apparently but, it's the... Like, but he, apparently it's like a status Well, symbol. Kim Kardashian just dated. Who's doing better than Kim Kardashian? Yeah. She's like she's literally... She's bigger than Princess Di. It just seems strange that it's like a... I don't know. I feel like it's it's got to... There's got to be some feminist point to be made about this. <laughs> Why is why is why is uh, because he was so good. Emily Radzikowski getting somehow getting social points 
for dating someone like Pete Davis. Because he watched she she why watched him in the Dead Fireman movie, the Apatow made, the king the king of Staten Island or whatever it was, and like and you know it, it, it's just like this guy is just you know this guy just oozes charm and sexuality. I gotta have him inside me. It would be great if like if like. It, they're, they're all just dating him because they feel really bad that his dad died in 9-11. Right. <laughs> that would be a great move. I mean, that's the kind of thing. He should be the pickup artist. Yeah. Honestly, what is, I mean, all right, wow. This is, this is amazing. Because, look, I'm sure he's, he's doing very well. He's, but he, here's the thing. How well is he doing financially? He spent six years on SNL, probably five or six years. Mm. They don't pay you that much money, right? I mean, like they make very good salaries. I mean, he might be making a million a year, but like in the grand scheme, that's not like tremendous money. He made a couple million. I'm thinking for 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 stars. Yeah. And like he had one movie of Apatow, what ten million? I don't know. I'm just saying, in the grand scheme of like big money celebrities, he can't be have that much money. Yeah. So he there's not it's not like there's no reason for him to do this. Of course, he should be the the pickup artist. No one understands why he's dating these women yeah. and, and, and presumably betting them, having, having sex with them, you know? <laughs> I mean, who would, who, no one would admit it, but who the hell wouldn't pay a hundred bucks to get that secret? I would. I mean, there, there, I'm sure there isn't like a good secret he can give unless he like sold his soul to like Rumpelstiltskin. But I mean, that's the move. He would be, he, he could become a hundred millionaire from that. He could, he could make a hundred. I, I bet you if he if he sold that program, if he put like you know these ad, like like the little ads guy, he put it on <laughs> on like late night TV commercials. He could make two hundred million bucks in, in a couple of years. I guarantee it. Yeah. This guy is just is just sexing everyone. <laughs> He's just inside of every beautiful woman you've ever heard of. I mean, who's next? I mean, Meg Ryan. Was, he gets a time machine and he has sex with Meg Ryan thirty years ago. No offense, Meg Ryan, but you know, whatever. It's just, it's, you, you, you were very cute when Harry met Sally. Yeah, she's or down. Joe versus the volcano. She seems down to earth. I bet she'd get I it. Mean, maybe maybe he, he would have sex with Meg Ryan now. I don't know if she would want be into it. Whatever. You know, uh, I'm, I'm, this, I'm not an anti feminist. <laughs> <laughs> Point is, um, that's the move. <laughs> we need to get in touch with Pete Davidson. Yeah. Or can we just sell this as Pete Davidson? Can we get a deep fake of Pete Davidson? Uh, can I can I basically make a commercial and then we'll deep fake his face onto me? Sometimes have you ever seen those those weird videos on YouTube where it's like some guy with an Australian accent explaining why certain actors are so charismatic? Yeah, like here's why Robert Downey Jr. is so charismatic and everybody loves him. Right, and this guy and this guy's like, literally picking your pocket. <laughs> like he's, you're watching his video and it's Australian guys behind you picking your pocket. I don't right. know how it works. But right. They're very crafty, the Australians. It's like body language. <laughs> <laughs> he's talking about body language and some guy hits you over the head with a club <laughs> in the land down under <laughs> well we could be that for Pete Davidson and picking up women I don't understand we, we could mean. start a channel where it's just showing footage of Pete Davidson okay and it's like this is how Pete Davidson fucks so many women okay so we just use we just use his image but, but we're I, being the pick up we artists. make that but then we hire like a very, a very thin, uh, like a emaciated porn star <laughs> to be Pete Davidson. Yeah. Um, and then against me, he's a skinny guy. What do you want me to tell you? Am I, am I, you think I'm shitting on him because he's skinny? I'd love to, I'd love to be that skinny. <laughs> that has nothing to do with it. Anyway, we get this fucking near death porn star to play Pete Davidson. <laughs> and, and so the video is just positions. It's mm. blurred out. But people think, how, how am I going to do it? And, it's, and we're just showing, like, how does he have sex with these women? But it's just him, like, you know, doing weird, you know, uh, Karma Sutra things. Mm. It's like bait and switch. I like that. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess we could all just do clickbait and, and just mumble. It. But this is, this is, you won't be able to sue us for this, is my point. Because <laughs> it will actually be true. It's just, it's just a play on words. Mm. Anyway. <laughs> we'll talk to him. So what's going on with this point this thing? <laughs> What happened? So, so Trump is saying he's uh, he didn't know who Fuentes was. Um, yeah. So Trump is Trump is, yeah. So uh, oh, Pence also denounced it. Well, Pence and is just like Pence is out there trying to like take any take any shot at Trump he can. That's I mean, true. the guy tried to kill him. Yeah. <laughs> if I was, I mean, if I was, I, mean, I would I would just be like, you know, I've been to Mar-a-Lago. It kind of smells. It smells like water. I don't like it. The, the seawater, not for me. I don't know who the hell would. 
I mean, is Mar a Lago? It's on the water, right? Somewhere. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Mar a Lago. I, I had the Salisbury steak. Didn't like it. <laughs> this guy tried to murder me. You know what's weird? I always I, I I remember obviously that Trump kind of tried to get Pence hanged. Right. But for some reason, I don't like register it as like they have bad blood now. Like I don't remember that it's like I I still when I imagine Pence speaking publicly, I still imagine him like defending Trump. We didn't watch the video or the interview, but they're like basically the night of his like announcement of Trump's re-election campaign, they had an interview with Pence where he was like, and the tease of the video was like, "Do you think he tried to kill you?" <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I guess he said yes. Maybe. I don't know. Um, look, maybe the gallows is just for show. But that's just, that's, you You can forgive Pence for getting the wrong idea then, if that was the case. You can forgive him at least from the for the confusion from the combination of the show gallow and then people chanting, hang Mike Pence. Right. <laughs> look, look, I, imagine, I imagine him, like Trump getting re-election, uh, like getting a nom again for the Republican Party. Yeah. Him having to kind of like backpedal, like, do, Mr. Trump, do, Donald, I'm so sorry. I, I mean, I saw the gallows and I heard hanging by pens, and I just, I, I guess I, I, I let my uh, imagination run wild. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, do you forgive me? And then he just like go kiss his knee in a porta potty or something. Mm. Kiss his knee. Give him a blumpkin. <laughs> oh wow, you went that escalated. <laughs> well, you know, it's not that far of a jump from kiss his knee to. I mean, I, look, I, I do think, I think, look. There's a big difference. <laughs> I, I, I venture to say. I mean, even though it's in a porta potty, as much as I would not want to kiss Trump's knee in a porta potty, it's not quite a blumpkin, is it? It's not. It's, it's a pretty big divide. You wouldn't have like you wouldn't have like a, a movie made about you if that if like you were, if I was if you were forced to kiss his knee. Not that people make movies about rape victims either, but you know whatever. Well, I feel like I feel like kiss his knee in a porta potty is like is, the way that like a 1930s actor would say. <laughs> give him a you give me a lot of credit <laughs> saying that but I, <laughs> I, if he, he was kissing knees in the porta potty if you get my drift it was like it, it's a coy way of saying i believe they were kissing blood. knees in the porta potty <laughs> if you don't understand my flippancy flippancy what the fuck was wrong with me mm. um so what, what so trump so trump is distancing himself from fuentes why not the other two um, <laughs> like Kanye, it seems well, like Kanye, he, I think he's blaming Kanye for bringing the other two. Right. I, I met to meet with the guy who famously <laughs> lost a billion dollars to threaten the Jews or whatever. Right. Or I mean, is that fair to say? Well, that's <laughs> just him standing by his friends. Yeah, you're right. He was friends with Kanye. Kanye did come come to Trump Tower and wear a MAGA hat. Mm. And he went on uh, TMZ with the MAGA hat. <laughs> you're right. There, there's loyalty. Trump is not yeah. disloyal. Right. Unless you count like trying to murder his vice president. <laughs> In that case, you know, but I guess you could, you could argue, you know, Mike Pence not stealing the election form is also kind of disloyal. Yeah. So it's like, you know, six of one, half a dozen uh, gallows on the White House lawn. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, the, the Capitol lawn. <laughs> Don't accuse me of, of slander. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, so that's interesting. So here's uh, the Hill article about it. It says, former President Trump on Saturday said ye, the rapper formerly known as Kanye West, is a, quote, seriously troubled man whom he was trying to help, but also blamed the controversial musician for a dinner in which Trump says he brought along a known white supremacist. It just seems weird that, like, he can say, I'm going to go to DEF CON 3 on the... And, like, and, like we still have to be, like, ye, the man formerly known as Kanye. Can't we just say Kanye at this point? Yeah. Just, I, isn't it easier? Like, we just, we just respect his, like, stupid <laughs> name. It's not even a real name change, right? It's not like it's not like someone who like you know just, like it's not like a real it's like it's like when Prince changed his name like and people are like oh you are from you Prince I, I you think made, it you, might be his official name he probably changed it on record but like he made millions of dollars is one thing yeah no I get it. if you're if it's a trans thing sure but if it's just like I want to <laughs> change my name shut up I'm ye now whatever you made up a fake name was Kanye's real name I guess it's his real name right. Um, I don't know. It's, it's, it's you, you just took the three, three letters. I just realized that you took the three letters off your name. Yeah. Like why? You, what, uh, like it's like you know. If you said it would be Raymond Cumb, I wouldn't lose my mind. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, to be fair, I don't think I don't know if he really gets offended by people calling him Kanye. Why? Why are they bothering the, the two lines of explanation? And just saying this <laughs> this this fucking crazy guy who gave away his money. You're right. <laughs> They're being very Victorian about this. I agree. So uh, what happened? So this is the quote from Trump. 
So I help a seriously troubled man who just happens to be black. <laughs> we really? Yeah. What? This is a very Trump quote. That is... He's like, he did just happen to be black until you brought it up. <laughs> wow. That's weird. Um, Yi, who has been decimated in his business and virtually everything else, Trump quote, wrote, quote, and who has always been good to me by allowing his request for immediate Mar-a-Lago alone so that I can give him very much needed advice. He shows up with three people, two of which I don't know. Oh, he, so he, he claims he's, he's claiming none of them. The Fair other, enough. a political person who I haven't seen in years, I guess that's Milo. Right. Um, I told him, don't run for office, a total waste of time, can't win. Fake news went crazy. So why is it so, I mean, it seems like the one person who would say to him, like, hey, this might be possible is Donald Trump. Like, give him the secrets. But I guess he doesn't want because he wants, he wants, he's greedy, he wants the secrets for himself. Yeah. Um, yeah, because I imagine, I guess Kanye would be running as a Republican. That's I mean, I don't think that the Democratic ticket is, is uh, the best choice for a man. <laughs> Who just uh, went DEFCON three on on the <laughs> Jewish people? I don't. I don't. Like, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying the Democrats can't be anti-Semitic, but I just have a feeling it's not the, the most fertile ground for him. Right. Um. Maybe, yeah. With, with Nick Fuentes and Milo. Maybe maybe, maybe maybe he can run with the Whig Party. <laughs> yeah. Bring back the Whig. When was the last time the Whigs had a candidate? Like 1860, mm. something like that. I mean, honestly, if he decided to run with the Green Party, they should invite him. Dude, the Green Party should invite literally, like, you know. The Green Party has no business turning Kanye down. The Green Party should invite President Z. Yeah. <laughs> like, just, I'm like, hey, why don't you run for pre- like both? And you can keep China. If I was the Green Party, we have there was nothing going on. Yeah. Hey, President Z, how about you run on our part? Take it. Best case, you win, you have both. You get America and China. Worst case, whatever, you keep China. The win-win for you, President Z. <laughs> but, uh, so he's saying he doesn't know any of these people. So wait. Three, so he brings two other people, he says. So it's Milo, Nick Fuentes. Am I missing anyone? No, it's them. So you think that hurt their feelings? Milo and Nick Fuentes? You, th- you, 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 you think like Nick Fuentes was like, well, I thought you were a fan. I mean, look, he listened to Alex Jones back in the day. Now, I listened to Alex Jones back in the day. I mean, it's, it's, I've never heard Nick Fuentes. I've heard of him. I got to say that, yeah, because this is like the most... This is, I feel like this is the closest thing to apologetic Trump is. Sure. Like, it's like, like I have no idea who you are. Yeah. I have no idea who these people are and I wouldn't have invited them. Right. I mean, he met but, with like, you know, um, Kim Jong-un. Their, pro- their feelings probably are hurt. Yeah. You think Nick Fuentes is going like, you, you met with Kim Jong-un you had, and, you, and you gave love letters to him and you won't even, you won't, you pretend to know me? <laughs> that, would, that would make, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if he turns on him. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't know what kind of wrath he has. I don't know what Nick Fuentes going to DEFCON 3 looks like. <laughs> um, but wasn't there, was, was there any other... So what is this clip? You have some other clip? So there's... And then there's this clip. Team. What do you mean? This was also... Uh, this was going around because Tim Poole interviewed the three The of guy them. with the beanie. The guy with the beanie, yeah. Right. The skateboard kid. The guy's like always on Twitter going, like, people are trying to kill me. And like, what? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> He seems very dramatic. He seems, he seems very uh, histrionic. I wouldn't be surprised if he was in on this, honestly, but I don't know. Like, you know, is that what happens? Um, it, well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if he was the fourth horseman of this weird thing. Well, honestly, what's weird about this clip is that he's like, he's not even really pushing back that hard. Well, let's get to it. Let's see. Let's that, that, just watch it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's not. It, what, what do I mean? Like, uh, uh, okay, so how about... Sorry, we gotta. I gotta go back to the start on that. Technical difficulties. Oh my god. Speaking of which, if you're in the if you're in the market for women or you know just above, um, sign up for our new program. It's only ninety nine ninety nine, and you get full access to the secrets of Pete Davidson, uh, <laughs> who he who you know how he makes love, um, how he how he functions without a kidney. I think he's missing a kidney, right? Mm. I don't know. I, I would make that part of it. Just make it sound plausible. I, I would I would say everything is, Pete Davidson has only one kidney. He has sex with some of the most beautiful women in the world. <laughs> Even though it's, I mean, that's not the truth. But, you know, <laughs> I mean, is the answer just, I mean, because well, how is it that Steve Ranzini lied about, well, I guess he lied about, he's not, no one's saying Pete Davidson lied about his dad dying in 9-11, right? No. Steve Ranzini, whatever his name was from the, from the league, 
he apparently lied about being in 9-11. Right, yeah. And that, I don't think that gave him a lot of women. But who, how do I know? Maybe, maybe just very well with, like, beautiful models who aren't famous. Mm. Anyway, we was ready? Yeah. Okay. We'll give you details for that program later in the show. Uh, here we go. Got money, right? God is using me. He's breaking me down, removing all of the you know, richest person, all of this, so I can serve him. And the more and more those things are taken away from me, the more I can be empty and be a vessel and be able to be used. And right now it's- You know, I don't want to say this in any way, because the man's, re- like, uh, people, don't think it's the right way, but the guy's a poet, right? Yeah. Uh, I, 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 he might not be the best rapper of all time, but he's one of top 10 probably. He, like, he's very good with words, typically, like, who sure. he has been in the past. Yeah, I'm not making some claim because oh, he's a rap- because he's a rapper he can't be. No, no, I'm saying like the guy is supposed to be like, I mean his raps had very very clever lines. He seems like a you know he seems like a guy who would not. I don't mean like is he articulate saying like, bullshit. I mean he seems like he should be like an expert orator. Right. And he sounds not. He sounds and looks not great here. Doesn't I mean like, you can't like, imagine the guy who wrote "Mercy Me, My Mercy Alago." Which I think is a great line in, in a Kanye song mm. um, would be would sound better than this. Yeah. <laughs> if not, if not for problems, it's like you're not gonna take. If if we can't, you're not gonna take my pain away, right? The Jewish people say it's the Holocaust. This happened, and you can't. What's, wait, Jewish people say it's the Holocaust. <laughs> What's the Holocaust? You know how Jewish people are always saying it's Holocaust time, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just, it seems to lack, like, he's just, it's, it's like when you, like, cut the, what's that thing where you cut the words out of, like, like, shorthand or whatever, like, as the secretary used to do? Yeah. It's just, like, <laughs> Jewish people, if you want to say, it's the Holocaust, they... <laughs> it's like the way, it's like your cheese plate timeline. <laughs> he the insulted Holocaust. us during Holocaust time. <laughs> And say anything about it. We can't take their pain away. No one's going to denounce the fact that they tried to lock me up. That's what it, because every time. The I, Jewish people try to lock you up? I mean, I, I did hear the Kim, like, basically send a text saying, like, you better cut this shit out or I'll, I'll, I'll get you drugged again or something. I don't know if it's true. I'm not slandering anyone. I will say if Kim Kardashian is Jewish or something, all of this makes much more sense instantly. I don't like, think, like, well, like, I don't know. They're Armenian, right? Yeah. I mean, I think so. yeah, I don't know. I mean, whatever. I don't, know if it makes I don't think they claim whatever. Yeah. I'm just holding stride. And it's like, I didn't, I thought I was more Malcolm X, but I find out I'm more MLK. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I have a dream that when Jews say it's the Holocaust, you know, they try to take my, put me in jail. <laughs> <laughs> and I went DEFCON 3 on that. <laughs> Did MLK say to go DEFCON 3 on the Jews? I don't think so. I, 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 it, 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 I think a lot of, I know like that Malcolm X was like, um, what do you call it? Like a black, what do they call it? The black, they call it black Muslims, I guess. Nation of Islam. Right. That they traditionally weren't like, you know, they don't get along with the Jewish community. Right. Right. But like, as far as the civil rights movement at large, I think that, like they got along with the Jews, like Jewish people, like, I mean, the Jew, sorry, but like, you know, Jewish people. Right. Yeah, like so, the, the, so a lot of Jewish people came down and like helped it, like sell like, these, like you know, right, like vote whatever they sit ins or whatever they did down there. Yeah, but then so either way, the internal logic should really be that he's more Malcolm X. Probably. Well, he's, he's like saying he's both. I mean, there would be flaws in either direction. Maybe that's why he included Malcolm X. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair. Um, yeah. Maybe. I, I I don't know what Mal, you know, Mal, MLK thought in his heart, but I don't think he ever you know went went DefCon three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because as I'm getting hosed down every day by the press and financially, I'm just standing there. And when, when I found out that they tried to put me in jail, it was like a dog was biting my arm. And I, 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 I almost shed a tear, almost. But I still walked in. A dog was biting my arm, and I'm not a little pussy, so I, fucking, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't cry, but it hurt a lot. You know, the dog's biting me, but, you know, but I, I still didn't cry because I'm a man. I'm a man. <laughs> When, didn't you say like, didn't weren't you the one who told me that like in that song runaway yeah on um uh my beautiful dark twisted fantasy yes. uh, uh, that he was like uh that he was crying into like one of those weird instruments like, yeah the whole part where he's like you know ta- in, 
he's, talk, he's using a talk box, and he's like, you know, and he's talking about his, like, his wife who he cheated on, I guess. And, like, mm. he's, and he, he claims he was, cr- like, sobbing during it. Yeah. Um, which is, you know, I guess is a nice story. No, no, that's actually, that makes it, uh, that it, that emotionally invests me in him. Oh, but he's a crier is your point. Yeah, my point, point is he is a crier. Yeah, yeah, but not when dogs bite him. <laughs> but only not when cheat, dogs Only bite when he him. cheats on his wife. But not when Jews try to throw him in jail. Right. And not when dogs bite. I don't know, how, I don't, do the Jewish people have a jail to, to put him in? <laughs> like, as a whole, I mean, like, I'm not saying, like, you know, that, yeah. like, you know, I'm not saying influential people don't exist and, like, they can't, but I'm saying, like, what jail would it have been? I can't stress enough. This is such like classic mental illness. Like this is no, of course, yeah, look. this is like yeah. this is. Are you a doctor? Two like two thing ha- two things happened. Yeah. Your your wife had a restraining order against you and tried to put you in jail. Right. And Jewish people got mad at you for saying these things, and you just combine and you're just combining them in your mind. Right. Like there's no distinction between the two. Mercy me, my mercy, Lago. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's why I say. Yeah. Didn't stride through it. Yeah. I, I think I think they've been extremely unfair to you. I think. Who is they though? We can't say who they Cor- is. Can we? Press. I'm not using the. I don't, I don't use the word as the, as the way I guess you, you guys use. I'm, I'm talking. It is about them it. though, isn't it? I mean, because <laughs> no. it, it, because when you think about it, consider it. In 2018. What do you mean it's not? It, what What do I mean? Like, uh, uh, okay, so how about? Are you leaving? Who is that? Is that Milo leaving? Is Milo there? That's Kanye leaving. Oh, he's always oh, he, that. That's what got him up. Yeah. So he even so he was about this like Tim Pool's not even like really like he's saying I, you're being treated unfairly, which is like a pretty decent olive branch, I guess. Yeah, I mean it's not something I wouldn't expect from Tim, Tim Pool, but like right. But like he uh, so he's not even really pushing back and, as much. And as even going, the like, way he's saying like I'm not I'm not attributing it to the Jews broadly. Like it it's kind of a pussyish way of putting that. Like it kind of sounded like he almost was about to say like some do. Right, you know? right. Like he he was kind of saying like. It was such a weird, wishy-washy way of saying that. Like, I guess I just don't use the word they the way you use right. it. Like, it's like like they're just from legitimately, like, different... This is a cultural difference. The, it, look, so. this this seems like a very strategically <laughs> poor way for Kanye to be, like... I mean, like, I, if he's only going to allow people to speak to him when they're being, like, just fervently anti-Semitic, like he's been <laughs> actively denying the Holocaust, this campaign's not going to get off the ground. Right. I mean, I mean even, even Hitler, like, hit his message a bit, didn't he? Yeah. He buried the lead sometimes. Yeah. Are you afraid of the press? He's gone. I'll say it right now. Um, you guys, I, I, you guys want to bring that stuff up, and then <laughs> think the we're discussion. not going to. Sorry. What is this? I, I don't know. <laughs> is that is that the end of the video? Okay. I guess it's the end. I thought it went on for longer. Oh, what are you gonna do? Anyway. Um, was that Kanye's company? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Um, but then he goes on to say, basically, he goes on to say, like, I'm trying to give you guys a chance to talk about this, and it's like, if you're not going to talk about it, uh, you know, then whatever. Like, and, and then and then Milo goes, like, I'm just going to go check on him to see if he's okay, and he walks out of the room, mm. like, yeah. yeah, but yeah, Milo just, I mean, that's is that is Milo just his like guy of the pills. Yeah. He's giving little candies. He's the guy who feeds him pills. <laughs> I mean, it just it, it yeah. does seem like uh, it does seem like Kanye is like I would guess I'm not a doctor, but like, you know he's, he's not doing well. Again, he's not he's not writing these great rap lyrics anymore. You know, was, I'm not trying to be reductive, but he was a great, brilliant orator, and now he's just. But but it seems it would seem like, Con, yeah, Nick Fuentes and, and Milo are just kind of taking advantage of this guy. Yeah, it seems that way, though. It's like, and and I think that people do often take advantage of him. Right. But like, but uh, but it, it's weird to me that they would be in a position to take advantage of him. That's well, the only because, thing I'm unclear on is like, how did they get all this access to him? Well, because place? he, you know, he burned a lot. Kanye burned a lot of bridges. Yeah. No, look, I, I I am not. You know, my thing is like, I'm not excusing what he said, but like. It, like, it is what it is. Like he, he's saying these things, and like, and like, you know, well, do you should have cared? if he's mentally ill? Why is it? Just can't. Well, they can't have someone like saying this, like, and 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 then literally going like, you can't fire me. Like, well, I guess we have to now, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, no, no one like seized his money. Right. It was just like well, we're not. We can't have you like be like the head. Of, we would like. They just they try for two weeks to keep him around. They right. Try for two weeks to be like ah, let's just let's see where this goes. And it didn't go anywhere good. Yeah. Uh, because they lost a lot of money too. So I don't. My point is uh. But that being said, you know, now that he's lost his all this stuff, is I still feel like this guy's probably, you know, 
going through a thing. Yeah, I guess it is. Honestly, it's sad to think about it that way. I guess he is just kind of descending through like deeper and deeper layer levels of hell, kind of. Yeah. Where it's just like he just keeps for every bridge he burns, he meets a new like uh, weirdo. Right. Like Pete Davidson is his, is his Virgil. Yeah. Right, from Don, Dante's Inferno. <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, do, do you think he like in his head? I don't want to make light of mental illness, but do you yeah. think he has visions of Pete Davidson guiding him through hell? <laughs> And, he's, and he shows him him <laughs> se- sexing his wife, you know. Right. And he's like, I'm going to show you the secret. Playing shoots and ladders. With, and I don't mean that. Any, literally the board game, shoots and ladders with his, with his kids. Yeah, literally. Or, or trouble or mm. uh, sorry. I mean, these all sound problematic. Teaching his kids how to ride a bike. Yeah, these all sound problematic. Yeah. I don't mean Pete Davidson's doing anything nefarious. <laughs> <laughs> I just mean, like, you know, spending time with his kids. Right. Which I guess he's done with, right? He's he, That's got hurt even more. That like Pete, you know, Pete Davidson rubbed my kid's head and said, "That's a buddy." Yeah. And, then, and then, now he doesn't even care anymore. He's gone. Like a thief, thief in the night. Yeah. How does Pete Davidson keep winning? <laughs> well, you can find out for one hundred dollars. Yeah. It was ninety nine hundred. Now it's a hundred. <laughs> Let's cut this shit. Right. <laughs> you, you want you want to screw the girl from Blurred Lines or not? <laughs> oh man. I mean, is there any uh, Trump? Calls Kanye trouble. Oh, he, so he said he's troubled. Yeah. Yeah, he said I'm. he's basically, you know, I was being magnanimous, trying to give this troubled guy advice. Interesting. Um, I, I Before we end the show, there's one topic. There's a few we, we can get to. But I do want to get to this. Mm-hmm. Uh, this uh, apparently Will Smith is back in the news. Yes, he is. is there, are they making a new Men in Black? Um, they are not. He's, he well, gonna... actually, he is in a movie that looks pretty good. Um, it's called Emancipation. Oh. Uh. Okay. I, f- I forget, uh, I forget. I imagine some do sla- I don't, I don't want to speak out of turn here, but it's about slavery of some sort. It is. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, who knows of him? It could be called Emancipation. It's the best of guy who like, I'm, I'm, I'm the parent of, uh, Roger Federer. And I'm actually, yeah. I'm the reason he's successful. <laughs> I, I know Serena and Venus like the, you know, they also like their dad, and say he was great. Right. It just seems, it just seems funny. Will Smith, the, movie, the movie about Serena Williams is like it's about her dad. It's Will Smith. Mm. The dad's really the important part here. Not <laughs> the most successful female tennis player, and maybe technically most successful player of all time. I forget who's on top of that list. Mm. But the dad's what's important. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Um, anyway. Um, but why is, so what, what's this about? What's, what's going on here? So he went on Trevor Noah and he talked about the whole slap thing. Oh, should we play? Uh, yeah. Okay. So Trevor Noah was still around. I thought he was gone. I thought he bounced from the Daily Show. He's gonna bounce. Okay. He, he announced it like seven months out from actually doing it. Seems very not Johnny Carson, dude. Yeah. Like you, you haven't been here for thirty years. You don't have to do a seven month like you know. Yeah, just say down. bye and then yeah, go. do like a month. And you you like you know, you 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 here ten years in you get like a month you know two months. A year, like less than 10 years? I mean, you get a month. <laughs> Just seven months. What do you, what do you think people are going to make the, tour, the rounds and, like, and like, you know, come, and come on a daily show and, and, give, and give Trevor Noah his roses? Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. In his first major TV interview. This is loud. Can we turn this down? Hold on. Why doesn't this work? That's just too loud. Hold on. All right, make it make it bigger again. I'll just do it manually because I'm smart. Review: A tearful so Will Smith so reveals what led to that notorious Oscar slap. It was a lot of things. It was the 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 little boy that watched his father beat up his mother. That was a rage that had been bottled for a really right. long time. But at the end of the day, I just I lost it. He's also sharing a personal story, how his young nephew stayed up late to watch the Oscars. My nephew, Dom, is nine, and he is the sweetest little boy. He's like... Yo, yo, what is he doing? Yeah. <laughs> yo, my, ne- my nephew's not... Like, first of all, why'd you hit that man? Yeah. <laughs> Stop it. Like, why... Will you, no one cares how sweet your nephew is. <laughs> Who gives a shit? Well, he you said know, it's because we- his dad used to hit his mom or something. So, <laughs> you're like, aren't you? Isn't he like? A, am I wrong? Is he's a Scientologist? Ah, uh, he is. Yeah. He, I thought he went clear. 
Yeah. You still dealing with that? Yeah. I thought the whole point of this Scientology thing was to get clear. Right. Yeah, that's true. It's bad. This is bad for business. If I was, if that was my scam and not the, uh, you know, Pete Davidson thing, mm. I'd be livid. Like, shut the fuck up. Like, if I was, a, if I was David Miscavige right now, mm -hmm. and he was like, uh, hey, uh, uh, this is good. My parents would be, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're trying to sell this goddamn, <laughs> what do they call that boat they go on? Oh yeah, I oh I forgot. We're trying to get people on that boat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they're gonna keep. They're gonna start asking about my wife. <laughs> we get rid of that stuff with the e meters. Yeah, we, the e meters get rid of the thetans. You know this. <laughs> Were you new? <laughs> Came home and it's like he had stayed up late to see his uncle Will, and he's just like. Why did you hit that man, Uncle Will? No, oh, he wouldn't say that. Oh. That's such horseshit. You know, he's like, he's your, you're his net. He'd be, he'd think it was cool. Yeah. That's the whole thing about kids. They're impressionable. They wouldn't assume you're the wrong one. Even if they saw it on TV, they'd be like, shut the fuck my, my uncle gives me a fucking bag of candy every day. <laughs> you know? <laughs> fuck you. You know, damn it. Damn you, you. Why are you trying to Oprah me? <laughs> no, that's just, that's just a little. Smith appeared on The Daily Show with Trevor Noah to promote his film Emancipation, his first movie since the Oscars fiasco. The film is based on the truth. Why is he doing a Denzel face impression there? <laughs> that's a Denzel face. That's not part of Will Smith's face repertoire. <laughs> the story of an escaped slave whose photo of his horribly scarred back revealed the horrific whippings he endured. The film recreates the shocking image. Smith says he understands the movie may face an uphill battle at the box office, but he hopes, for the sake of the cast and crew, people will watch the film. These top artists in the world have done some of the best work of their career, yeah. and the idea that they might be denied because of me is like, oh. Just give him some money. Yeah. You're really rich. Just give him some money, he'll be fine. Give him like 10 million bucks. <laughs> All right. What a weirdo. He also said like hurt people hurt people, which like, which I, 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 mean, I feel like I usually associate that with like when you're being, uh, you know, when you're being benevolent to like somebody who's done something wrong, you go, ah, oh, hurt people, hurt people. Maybe you're not more, supposed to say it about yourself. Maybe he meant it more like hurt people, hurt people, <laughs> hurt people. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that's, 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 that's pretty funny. <laughs> he's, he's a weird guy. I just saw my wife looking at me, like, uh, you know, staring at me, and and, and it's, it's something that just snapped. My, my mind kept going, hurt people, hurt people. <laughs> I, do, I just don't understand how Xenu doesn't come into this at all. Yeah. Like, like don't they talk? Like, why? No, they never talk about Xenu. Is he a, he's, he's, a, he's definitely a Scientology, right? That's got to be part of the code that I guess we don't, like, I guess part of their thing is they never talk about being Scientologists. Didn't Tom Cruise a little bit? Well, Tom Cruise is different. <laughs> I guess he's the, he's, the, he's the ceremonial lead. He's the because Tom Cruise is the best representative of any religion you could probably ever have. I'd love to get him. Uh, I mean, honestly, if the Jews, the Jewish people make one mistake, it was trying not hard, not trying harder to recruit Tom Cruise. Yeah, because um, he just you know he he Kanye would be gone. <laughs> he would be he be he be, he, be, he be, don't like you know this would be over. Yeah, no one you know. You need Tom Cruise. Yeah, you need I, Tom Cruise. Honestly, I mean, that, the, the guy who the guy who climbed that uh, that giant building, amazing. I mean, honestly, I, I I I am I grew up Catholic, and I've sent many letters to the Pope saying, "What the, you know, he scumbag, you know, uh, first stop, <laughs> you know, having sex with the kids." Yeah, but if, you know, if you're going to at least get Tom Cruise to like be your advisor, <laughs> right? I mean, look what he's doing for Scientology. Yeah, I mean, like, I I don't want them to get away with it. He but. learned to fly planes. He look. He he literally hung from a plane. He flew a plane ma in Top Gun Maverick. He should be the Pope. Yeah. Tom Cruise for Pope. Tom Cruise for Pope. That's you know, um, when the Pete Dave when Pete Davidson sues us, that's what we're gonna pivot to. Because <laughs> we're gonna be selling. He's like, I, hey, I didn't authorize you to sell these weird sex tapes. You know, these <laughs> sex guides. Uh, and we'll and you know we'll we'll just forge a letter. We'll, <laughs> say, we'll say his dad gave us permission. <laughs> Before now, <laughs> What's wrong with us. All right, have a great day. Uh, uh, look, if you, <laughs> if you, um, if you want to get in on this, <laughs> just sign up for the Comp Patreon if you like it. You know, if you like this, uh, you get an extra episode every week for five bucks a month. It's a pretty nice deal, 
right? Yeah. That's nice. Go to patreon.com slash Ray Kump. Have a great week.